Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the order of draw and different types of chemistry panels. The order of draw is yellow, red, blue, green, purple, and gray. Now this is when dealing with phlebotomy. Yellow, red, blue, green, purple, and gray. Um, understanding chemistry panels. A lot of people get confused with understanding different types of chemistry panels. So I want to break it down. Chemistry tests can be drawn in three types of tubes. The plain red tube, which has no additive. Then you have your SST tube, which has the serum separator. And your green tube, which is a plasma separator tube. All chemistries can be drawn in those types of tubes. Um, you have your basic metabolic panel, which checks your kidney functions, your respiratory system, your electrolyte, acid-base balance, and your glucose levels. That's what the basic, metabolic, the basic metabolic panel does. You have your complete metabolic panel, which is a little bit more extensive than the basic metabolic panel. It just further goes on checking the ones that I just spoke about, along with your liver functions and your blood proteins. So it checks your kidney functions, your respiratory system, your electrolytes, your acid base balance, along with your glucose, your liver functions, and your blood proteins. So it's a little bit more extensive than the basic metabolic panel. You have your electrolyte panel. Your electrolyte panel normally checks the sodium, potassium. These are just some of the tests that you can draw. This is not just all of the tests, but it's some of the tests that I'm listing. Uh, electrolyte panel, your sodium, potassium, chloride, biocarbonate, CMP. You have your BMP, your blood glasses, along with your uh, BUN, blood, urine, and nitrogen and your creatinine and glucose. Those are just some of the tests that are within the electrolyte panel. You also have your lipid panel. The lipid panel usually assess a person's risk for uh, heart disease or cardiovascular disease. Some of the tests that are normally drawn in the lipid panel uh, that you will see is cholesterol tests, your LDL, your, tri just, your triglycerides, um, or your APOB. These are just some of the the test. Um, you have your liver panel, which is used to detect, monitor, and evaluate hepatitis uh, disease, which is the inflammation of your liver or any type of diseases associated, associated with the liver or um, any type of damage that may be going on. This is uh, what they use to, this is what they're looking for when they do a lipid panel. Some of the tests that you usually see in chemistries are ALT, the ALP, bilirubin, albumin, GGT, CMP, um, hepatitis B testing, ammonia, and um, those are just a few of the tests. Um, urinalysis, urine, phosphorus, uh, those will be listed in the renal panel testing. So whenever you have your renal panel, which is uh, it evaluates your kidney functions, and under the renal panel, you will see a BUN, albumin, phosphorus, potassium, urine, albumin, urinalysis. Those are just some of the tests that are uh, that you will see on a regular basis associated with the renal panel. And then you have your thyroid panel. In the thyroid panel, there's a it's pretty much is, is evaluating your thyroid functions or any types of diagnosis is it used to diagnose and uh, any types of disorders. So um, with the thyroid panel, you're looking at the TSH, your uh, T4, the T4 or the T3 free um, <clears throat> or your calcitone. So. I hope I broke it down just a little bit. These are chemistry tests. All those tests can be drawn in the red tube, which is a plain tube, your serum separator tube, which is a tiger top tube, or either a green tube, which is a plasma separator tube. These are normally chemistry tubes, and I hope I helped to break down uh, chemistries and made it a little easier uh, for, for you guys. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Subscribe to find the B. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you.